guys it's Max here and it is a Friday afternoon I'm about to be sitting in some terrible traffic not a huge fan of this 410 schedule thing and uh, it sucks to run nothing but medical calls all day and then right as I'm leaving the fire engine takes off to go on a fire I'm currently filming on the DJI Osmo pocket and I'll show you guys this thing when I get home super super stable that's because it has a three axis gimbal built in and it's teeny tiny I can carry it around in a sunglass case and so the idea of this thing is to make it really uh, easily accessible and uh, something that I carry with me you know more frequently so I can film more frequently and make more videos for you guys um, unfortunately because I'm stuck on this schedule <laughs> it's been really difficult making videos um, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Hopefully the footage looks okay. You can see me. What are you doing? Not you, Bodie. Get away. What are you doing? All right, so I'm back at home and I don't quite have this camera really like when you're when you're like a vlogger, right? You get so used to a setup like this, it becomes second nature and it feels weird like vlogging with something else in my hand. The camera that I'm currently vlogging on is not much bigger than this right here. I'm not even kidding when they stand side by side, they're almost the same size. This is my current vlogging setup. Um, this is a Sony Alpha 6500 with a G series lens. It, it does a really good job. I have a Rode video mic go on on it for audio. But what's cool about this camera is look, hands free. I'm gonna go over here. Ha! Huh, it didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work. If I go over here, look at that. Isn't that weird? Okay, is that not weird? Pretty neat, it's not perfect, but I think it's gonna help me get some really cool shots. Everything is stabilized on a three axis gimbal and it shoots up to 4K 60 frames per second. So the quality of the video should stay the same if not be better because it's gonna be less shaky. This camera is awesome, but to keep this thing, I usually keep it in my back pocket and um, I'm constantly having like lens issues and, and that. But I'm still gonna use this because this guy shoots in 240 frames per second so when I do those really smooth shots they're usually slow motion and they're slowed down to 20 percent so I thought you guys might appreciate seeing how I vlog um, and seeing like what's new so this is normally what I would look like while vlogging I have this whole camera out and I hold it by hand just like this oh my gosh I'm so sure. Desiree's packing up the house. We're moving soon, which is super exciting. Now we see Carol? Yeah, let's go see Carol. Daddy do it. You stay back, okay? Hey, girl. Hey, pretty bird. So I'm really excited to see how steady these shots look. It's so much easier holding Carol. There's a lot going on out here, Carol. All right, you want to fly to your perch? You okay? What did you hurt? 
It hurts your feelings. Whoa, Carol! <laughs> Dude, that scared the crap out of me, Carol. Oh, man. That was good, though. Good job, Carol. Good job. I just I didn't get that on camera either, so you got to do it again. All right. All right, so this is pretty much my YouTube headquarters. Uh, this is where all my camera equipment, like the stuff that I use most often, I lay out. Down in these drawers is where I keep like backup stuff. These are some of the bags I use. And I pretty much got it set up to where I can just grab whatever, whatever I want to use and I keep it kind of laid out. I have a little power strip down here that runs up and can charge things and it's missing a few elements right now. My drone, I sunk in the river so it's, uh, it's kind of just on <laughs> standby right now. Um, but it's mainly these shelves where I keep camera stuff. For editing, I use a Dell XPS 15 6570. It has a terabyte of memory and a buttload of RAM for a laptop. It does really good. I'm not a huge... It does okay. It, it You have to have a lot of processing power to be able to make videos. And so I invested quite a bit to buy this computer. And then I use Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud to make all of my edits. Well, this is an attachment that I got. It's a little hand mount. It's a 6,000 milliamp uh, battery, but it's also a, a handle that screws into the base of the Osmo. But the downside is, is it actually doesn't fit the cord. The cord doesn't quite fit in there, so I'm gonna have to modify it or get a little smaller cord, which I ordered one. Hopefully that comes soon. But then this will be more so what my vlogging setup is. And, I've been reviewing the footage and the audio on this thing's actually pretty good up until you get into some windier situations. So I might come up with like a shoe mount um, thing that goes on the side here and I can hook up this microphone to it. But I would need an adapter and that's it's another 60 bucks. And then of course there's just more bulk and I really want this to just stay small. Um, I wouldn't even use this handle thing here until it starts getting low on battery if I was out on like a trip doing a lot of filming. But it's still so much easier to use this uh, than it is to use this camera. Although the camera that I'm using now feels more natural and I think it's just, I'm just more used to it. But anyway, so I wanna... Oh, you make a mess, buddy. We're, we're getting out of the house because I'm, for one, just like super, super bored. And for two, I want to see how my like hands-free vlogging setup works with this new camera. And I think it's kind of cool because look, man, it follows me over here. Not sure why it would really matter. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm just, but if I'm like leaning over to talk to Des or something, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna get her in the frame as well. Hi, I get like so cooped up and like wound up internally. Like I just can't stand working a regular schedule. Like I said, it's, I'm not, I'm just not built for it. I can't do it. I gotta get some gas. dislike about this camera is that the the little picture that shows you what's in frame it's a square but when you're shooting 1080p you're, you're actually filming in a rectangle box and so I don't know if like right now I have no idea if my hand is in the frame or not um, because it's this small square uh, I think it is but I'm not sure and so I always it's like I'm constantly wanting to reframe my shot because it looks like my face is way over this way but in reality once the shots actually blown up on the computer it might look different another thing too is I've gotten really used to not looking at myself on a screen when I vlog um, and now I have a screen facing me which is helpful for framing a shot but at the same time distracting because you're kind of looking at yourself. Uh, when I'm driving, a lot of times I want to get like, you know, the, a view of, of what we're facing and I have to pull over and turn the camera around on the mount and then continue going. But because I got this wheel attachment on the Osmo, all I have to do is push this button. It flips around and now it's filming 
directly in front of us and it's stabilized. How cool is that? I'm gonna jump out real quick and see what kind of shots we can get with this thing. Check it out. Whoop. Guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the B-roll. Check this out. I found like a little, uh, uh, I think it's a deer skull. <laughs> Earlier in the other vlog that I made today, I, uh, I found like the whole body of a deer, but that was in an entirely different area, like miles away. Uh, I am gonna keep that thing and hopefully clean it up. Kind of cool, put it on my, my desk. So let's get out of here. Good day though. We were talking about starting a blog and that would be something I would help Max with. And I wasn't sure if that's something you guys are interested in, but if it is, leave some ideas down below on what you would like to know more about. Yeah, definitely. So this would be like Desiree's perspective uh, on stuff in general, but she, you know, she'd answer questions and she, she's a writer, I'm more of a filmer. So um, you guys would get a different perspective on our whole family and some of the, the stuff that we do. So just let us know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, grumpy gills. Oh, so sad. You did it. Yeah, high five. You get, Sterling, you're gonna get a hot dog? We're at a Mexican restaurant. Okay. <laughs> it is so discreet. And then check this out. I don't even have to, I can just flip this around and just start talking to it. Now do you. Hang on. Oh, here we go. It's coming. It's coming your way. Wait, flip. There. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> the creepy eyes. Whoa. One of your eyes totally just moved independent from the other. I can do that. Can you? That was disgusting. Oh, no. oh my god, no. Nobody can do that. That's, that's terrible. Is it going? There you go. I don't like it. Oh. I feel like my vision might never go back. Dude, this is really easy. I don't feel awkward like I normally do. Normally you're holding like a whole DSLR out in front of you and it's just so awkward. Nobody even knows what this is. See? We want more chips. More chips. More please. chips. Oh, please. 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 <laughs>